I bought the Sun newspaper and I bought it to read about Margaret Thatcher because she was a great woman who without her, people like me would never be able to buy their own homes. It's a standard newspaper for your average working class person. Well I normally buy the independent because it's independent. But I like but where, when big events happen I like to get to a, a wide a wider perspective. We'll, we'll go from left to right. This is the Guardian, the, the, the most left wing. This is the Independent. The next to the left. This is the Times, I'd say the next one. And then the most the most of the right is the Telegraph. I'm a news junkie. They're all giving a very good coverage. Some are a little bit more biased than others. The Sun has actually got a rather sensational heading where she was found, which others don't major on. We may sell a few more of certain papers for tourists to take home with them. So what is the headline today? Scotland will never forget. Gone but not forgiven. I'm a Labour MP and I would say that the Daily Record is very much a Labour newspaper and Mrs Thatcher was extremely unpopular in Scotland. I didn't like her policies in terms of closing down the coal mines, closing factories, uh, constantly fighting with the, the trade unions, the labour unions. Um, so that, these are the things I didn't like about her. Um, if you ask me what I liked about her, I would have to say nothing. This is a business newspaper. Today there's a special feature about her, so people are taking more to know about her as well. I think it's slightly more um, city-based, and I know she did a lot for the city, uh, regulations, wealth, boost uh, creating of uh, wealth in the 1980s, so I think there would be a particular, a different emphasis on the story than perhaps some of the other newspapers, so it's a slightly different focus, I think. Certain papers will be very kind to her, certain papers will be less kind. I think generally, in the circumstances where she's only just died, I think the press will generally be quite kind to her, and they'll view her in a certain light. But I think over the days they might be a little bit more damning as to her influence on how the UK has become today.